Natural hazards are by definition just that, something which occur naturally and that are hazardous to us as people. We need to understand the different types of natural hazards and the things that affect the hazard risk. Natural hazards can have enormous social impacts, with thousands of people every year dying in these events. Flooding usually accounts for the largest number of deaths. These are naturally occurring events, and if, for example, an earthquake happened in the middle of an empty desert, then it isn't hazardous. Only when an event like an earthquake hits people and their activities does it become a hazard, even a disaster. Natural hazards can be divided into geological hazards, those that are created on the land, things like earthquakes and volcanoes, and meteorological hazards, those that are created by the weather and climate, things like storms and even floods. What we've got to do is look at the hazard risk. Living in areas susceptible to hazards, like near a river or on a plate margin, puts you at risk. Some choose to live there, others have little choice in the matter. So the hazard risk is the probability of people to be affected by a hazard. And this in turn is affected by a number of different factors. How vulnerable are people? The more there are in an area likely to suffer from a hazard, the more vulnerable the population. Urbanisation has increased with a majority of people living in cities. Many of these are near water, such as rivers and coasts, or can be found near plate margins. Poverty means that some people have little choice but to live in unstable areas, prone to hazards such as floods or even landslides. Climate change is leading to more intense storms and the potential for both flooding and drought. Even farming can create issues, with people living near to rivers on floodplains in order to water their crops, thus putting them at risk from flooding. Higher income countries may well be able to cope with hazards in terms of planning and response, and we need to be aware that natural hazards differ from each other. Tropical storms are regular and easily tracked, whereas earthquakes are not. We must understand what these hazards are and how we can adapt our lives in order to manage the effects that these hazards may bring. <laughs>